using the oblique function in the planning area. According to the set route parameters, five S-shaped routes can be generated. The aircraft and the payload can be used to collect orthophoto and oblique images for 3D reconstructions. On the home page of DJI Pilot, click Flight Route, Create a Route, and select Oblique. Choose Tab to create a mapping area with several boundary points by simply clicking the map. Drag the boundary point to adjust the area boundary or click the plus sign to add a boundary point. You can also generate boundary points by entering their longitude and latitude. Click the delete button to delete the selected boundary points and click clear button to delete all boundary points. You can switch the map to satellite imagery using the map switch button and you can select the base map source in common settings. You can generate mission areas by importing a KMZ file as well. After the task area is set, you can rename the task and the task name will also be used as the file name of the data storage so that the mission data can be found after a mission is completed. In Select Camera Interface, select Matrix 30, which has three shooting methods, Wide, IR, and Wide plus IR. Refer to Wide Angle, Infrared, and Wide Angle plus Infrared Camera. Choose a Wide Angle Camera when the distance is 100 meters away from the subject. The GSD is 3.56 centimeters per pix, and the oblique GSD is 5.03 centimeters per pix. Choose an infrared camera when the distance is 100 meters away from the subject. The GSD is 13.19 centimeters per pix and the oblique GSD is 18.65 centimeters per pix. When wide angle plus infrared is selected, only infrared GSD data will be displayed. This option can adjust the angle of camera lens. The default angle is minus 45 degree. When the height difference among buildings in the survey area increases, it is recommended to increase the angle of the gimbal to capture more images of the upper layers of buildings. When there are dense buildings in the survey area, the oblique angle can be reduced to capture more images among buildings. After the settings completed, five routes will be generated according to the default parameters. The first route, the camera will point straight down and 90 degrees and is not an oblique capture. Then, routes 2 to 5 will face each side of the mapping area and use the oblique gimbal pitch. ASL-ALT menu includes relative to takeoff points and ASL, which determines the datum for calculating route altitude. The route altitude in ASL mode refers to the altitude of the aircraft relative to the joint of EGM-96. When performing aerial photogrammetry work, the relative to takeoff point mode is generally selected. Target surface to takeoff point option appears in relative to takeoff point mode. The height of the target surface to takeoff points is equal to the height of the target surface minus the height of the takeoff point. For example, if you take off from the roof of a building 10 meters high above the target surface, you need to set the height of the target surface to takeoff point to minus 10 meters. When ASL is selected, the flight route altitude option appears. It is equal to the height of the flight route minus the height of the target surface. We use this height to calculate the GSG value. Takeoff speed is the flight speed of the aircraft reaches the height of the route, but not entering the route. It is not the speed at which the aircraft takes off vertically. It can be set to the maximum to improve efficiency. Speed is the operating speed of the aircraft during the route. Speed is the speed of the first ortho tracking route and the speed oblique is the working speed of the remaining four oblique routes. The maximum speed value is related to the GSD and the frontal overlap ratio. 
Upon completion refers to the flight action performed after the aircraft has completed the operation, which includes four options. Exit task, return to home, land, return to start point, and hover. The default option is return to home. Select return to home, the aircraft will return to the home point after completing the mission. If you choose to exit task, the aircraft will hover at the last boundary point after completing the operation, waiting for the remote controller commanding to make the next move. Return to home is recommended when takeoff and landing are at the same location. If you'd like to follow the aircraft, you can choose exit task mode. In advanced settings, the side overlap ratio and frontal overlap ratio is the overlap rate of the first route, which is orthophoto route. Side overlap ratio oblique and frontal overlap ratio oblique is the overlap rate of the other four routes, which are oblique routes. The default side overlap ratio is 70%, frontal overlap ratio is 80%, Side overlap ratio oblique is 60% and frontal overlap ratio oblique is 70% in DJI Pilot app, which is suitable for most scenarios when shooting with a wide angle camera. Changing the course angle can adjust the direction of the route. You can also adjust the start and the end position of the route. Please note that the angle of the route affects the time it takes to complete the mission. Generally, according to the default course angle, the expected mission time is the shortest. Margin is the distance of route area beyond the measurement area. Setting the margin is to ensure the result's accuracy of the measurement's area's edge by shooting outside the area. Photo mode includes time interval shot and distance interval shot. Time interval shot is used to take a continuous series of photographs at each specified time interval. Distance interval shot is used to take a continuous series of photographs at each specified distance interval. It is recommended to select distance interval shot mode when executing mapping mission. After the parameter settings are complete, save the task. Pre-flight check. You need to find an open space to start your flight mission. The ground of takeoff point should be flat and clean. Make sure there is no small pebbles, plastic bags, and other debris. Expand and power the aircraft. Retrieve the task in the DJI Pilot app and click Upload Flight Mission. In Pre-Flight Check menu, check the parameters of the aircraft and the status of the UAV Health Management System and confirm that everything is working properly. Exit the HMS module. Make sure the remote controller is in N mode the aircraft and the remote controller receive enough power and the positioning information is normal. If the RTK solution is needed, the RTK status should be fixed before starting to work. Make sure the SD card has enough space for this task. If not, it is necessary to replace or format it. RTH altitude and max altitude need to be higher than the flight route altitude. The home point setting is determined by actual situation. If the takeoff and landing position is changed, it is recommended to update the home point. Out of control action is the losing control behavior when the aircraft is not executing the flight mission. You can choose hover, land, and return to home. The default option is return to home. If you turn on max flight distance, you need to make sure the distance between the furthest waypoint and the home point is less than your max flight distance. Select your control stick mode based on the actual situation. The default mode is mode 2. In scenarios with strong winds or the batteries have large number of cycle counts, it is recommended to increase the power alarm values of customized battery warning. When there are many objects around the takeoff or landing site, the obstacle sensing settings can be adjusted to ensure a smooth takeoff process. Click Next, confirm the route length, estimated operation time, number of waypoints, and photos taken. 
confirm whether save photo setting correctly, and check out the reconstruction GSD. If you choose to shoot with wide angle and infrared camera at the same time, the GSD shows the IR camera's value. Check RTK status. Upon completion, actions include exit task, return to home, land, return to start point, and hover. The default option is return to home. Out of control action is the action performed after the aircraft is out of control, including hover, land, return to home, and continue. The default selection is continue. Created folder is where the capture photos are stored. The default file name is the task name, which can be modified. Camera mode includes auto, automatic exposure, and M, menu exposure. It is recommended to use auto in well-lit scenes, and menu exposure can be used in low-light scenes. When you choose M, you can adjust the shutter speed to ensure the shooting effect. After checking all flight route parameters, click the Upload Flight Mission button to start the task. During flight execution, you need to pay attention to the aircraft's battery level, image exposure situation, and the remaining space of SD cards. Switch the FPV screen, observe whether there are any obstacles in front of the aircraft. Also, you can see the next waypoint the drone is flying to as a blue triangle. If one sortie fails to complete the mission, the aircraft will record the location of the interruption and after the battery is replaced, the aircraft can restart operating from the point of interruption. After completing the mission, check the status of the aircraft first, then copy the import of the mission data into the GI Terra, then you can generate 3D reality models. Thanks for watching!